let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever been trout fishing through the ice? Lake trout are by far the most fun species I chase through the ice. It's incredibly aggressive. They, they chase baits, it's up and down, it's back and forth. It's super interactive, it's super fun. And today I'm gonna to show you guys some beautiful water here in Northwestern Ontario. And we're gonna try and catch some big lake trout on tube jigs, all right? If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Doug Wagner. I'm a full-time fishing guide. And my winters, I take off to do some fun fishing, uh, work on my business a little bit, and do a lot of trout fishing. This is, like I said, by far my favorite thing to do through the ice. It takes some pretty stout equipment. I got a 48 inch rod here, 4,000 size reel, heavy braid, and hopefully we're gonna listen to this drag just go zzz, 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 as these things make some crazy runs. It's just a, a super, super fun bite. Like I say, they are by far the most fun fish to chase through the ice. I'm gonna get you guys on the sonar camera so you guys can see interactively how I'm jigging up and down. You'll watch these fish chase up and down. Hopefully we're gonna ice one here real quick. And then put up the trail camera. Done. Well, you can see where they walk up, turn around and leave. Like, oh, oh. There. Here, here's one. I got one going. Yeah, he came screaming up. He's still coming. Oh, come on. Came from the bottom up to 22 and then went back down. I didn't think he would have committed. Yeah, it was. Here he is again. Oh, spooky. There he is. He's playing the game up and down. Got him on the drop. Here oh god. Oh man, monster. Way to start my trout season. On the right side, got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> Things only get bigger from there. Oh, he was fun on the graph at least. <laughs> he was fun up and down on the graph at least. Yeah. Come here earlier. <laughs> Isn't as little as I thought. <clears throat> I think he's, he came uh, to the hole fast. But... Looks like supper. Looks like supper. Maybe. Looks like you choked it. Woo! That's a little better. Freaking smoked it. Marked him and he just came screaming straight up. Second trout of the year. This one is uh, about four times the size of my first one. I don't know if I showed you guys that one or not, but he's bleeding pretty bad and we need one for dinner. That's supper, fun. Last year I had all kinds of issues getting hookups and a bunch of people were telling me I needed a trailer. So I actually got some new tube jig heads. This is a half ounce one with a wire, piece of wire that comes out of the back of it, a little hook on the back. I actually switched it out. This is a small owner, like a kind of an EWG. I think they're called STY 35s. Really nice hook, but that one didn't matter. He absolutely choked it. But Sam just missed one and they'll come up and they'll just swipe at the bait sometime. And that stinger is nice to have. Hey Jess, Cisco.
40 feet to go. It's getting heavier now. This was the one that was suspended. Yeah, I had like 10 feet off bottom. <clears throat> See if it is a ling ding. Oh, here's the leader. Is it? Oh, it just left its trout. Oh, it's trout. Oh, doing oh. trout things. Angry trout. Oh, yeah, trying to reel that up in the. Just a little one. Look at you. Show up the Cisco though. Nice trout. Cisco trout. First fish on the new. I fish pro. He was hooked pretty bad, so he's gonna be dinner too. We're hungry. We're hungry today. <laughs> we are so hungry. I seen the flag going boink. It was really running too. Yeah, okay. I see a lot of line out. So you guys can see all this bait fish here. I was jigging above it for quite a while and I'm gonna try jigging below it. A lot of the marks did come off the bottom this morning. So Try jigging up high, try jigging down low. Eventually the school bait's gonna move through and generally that's when your trout are gonna come through and actually push this bait out of here and then your jig is left in their face and they eat it. Here we go, our bait just cleared out. Now we got a trout coming up on the screen. All right, he's right on. Is that the bait fish? No, it's all the bait again. Oh my gosh, where is he? There he is. Oh, he hit it, come on. I got I had him, had him come. I dropped it all the way down. I didn't really see him. Wow, that was crazy. He came out of nowhere. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Come on, where are you? Oh, that was so cool. That was just, how I envisioned that happening. That that school of bait just went away. Mark came in. I just missed the bite. I don't know how we didn't get the trailer or the treble. Sharpen my hooks too. I always carry a hook file with me. Got my bag here. And I'll carry just a small hook file with me. Um, it's a brand new tube jig. Like I said, I did replace the back hook, but the, the main hook was kind of large as far as diameter. So I, I always keep a little file with me. It's maybe just a musky habit, but file the sides of the hook, make sure they stay nice and sharp. So you don't have any regrets when you miss a bite. That one just must not have got it. Oh, here he is, here he came back. Come on. He liked it going past him before, so we're gonna try and drop it past him. Swing that one up. Come on. Do another big free fall down to the bottom. You gotta watch too when you're doing this because all of a sudden you can be doing this and if all of a sudden you gather a bunch of slack they came up with it and half time they can bite it and they can move so fast you'll never even see the mark before they hit it they're just on it yep here he is oh come on 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 look at him look at him oh my gosh this fish that is crazy he just chased me from 53 all the way up to like 18 feet of water Oh, there he's above me. We're gonna reel past him. Here he is. Come on. Oh, this is what's so fun about lake trout is the up and down, back and forth. Oh, it's just, you see those marks and your, your heart just starts pumping. It's so fun. Oh man, he's not having it. That was super cool though. Up and down, back and forth. That's what makes lake trout so fun. It's just like figure eight in a muskie boat side. It's just, I always call it lake trout are the muskies of, of ice fishing because they're just so fun, so interactive. Wow, that was cool. 
Ah, maybe he'll go bite the Cisco on the on the set line. Here's one. Come on. Oh, he hit it. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Again? Oh. <laughs> oh, I was doing so good today. It was three for three, and now three for five. Man. You wonder how they can hit that thing and not get a hook. And it's... Say it's... Big hook that I sharpened here, trailer off the back. I don't know, maybe I should shrink tube that. You can see, well, my wire's bent a little bit, so. Bit the wire or something. He hit it, like I said, there's no doubt about it. Is that wire I had straightened out pretty good. Pull the line back over the eye or hook, so it hangs nice and flat in the water column. <sighs> just want one more. I mean, it's always one more, right? But I literally just wanted one more. Four fish was gonna be an awesome day. God. Came out of nowhere. I'm on my freaking phone. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And it feels like the best one of the day. <laughs> oh, I do love that about lake trout too. You never know when they're gonna bite. Sometimes you mark them, sometimes they do that. Come out of nowhere. But that right there is why I really love them. Man. You think smallmouth fight pound for pound? Try a lake trout. <laughs> oh yeah. Just, I mean, you guys can see on the graph, like there was nothing there and all of a sudden Bang, he just smacked it. Made me look like an idiot, but so far so good. I just, I love this rod. Here's my leader. Let's see which, let's see it. Oh yeah, nice trout, nice trout. Best one of the day, that's for sure. I didn't see how well he's hooked. Oh, oh, he's not happy. Not happy, not happy. Okay, 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 buddy. It's right. Oh, he's got really pretty fins. Oh, this fish is awesome. He's all wrapped up. I need him to run away from the hole and get straightened out. Yeah, there you go. Really pretty one. I was saying about this rod, this is a 48 inch Pro Graphite rod from Thorn Brothers, just for lake trout. This, I just ordered some new ones. I haven't, they, sh they actually just got shipped yesterday. I ordered some 44s. I thought the 48 was just a touch long. So I just ordered some 40, 44s, like I said, but all they're gonna do is take it off the back. So the action of this rod will still be the exact same. And these recoil guides are really nice for fishing outside. You can flick them and get any of that ice off. You can't break them. Makes them really durable. Oh man, I love this. I love this. Arm's a little tired. Absolutely love it. This is the only ice fishing I care to do. I hate to say it, but I used to do a ton of ice fishing. But man, I've this is this is the pinnacle for me of ice fishing. Nothing better. Let's uh, let's make this the last lap. I don't like fighting them longer than I have to because they go so crazy. They're always rolling and wrapping up in your line. The longer they're hooked, the more chance they have to get off. 
but he smacked it. Oh yeah, nice trout. Man, he's bigger. He's he's getting bigger every time he goes by the hole. Phone's going off. Wasn't paying attention. I was kind of bummed. I just lost those two or missed those two bites. It's starting to get towards the end of the day. I wasn't sure if I was going to get another opportunity. And there seems to be a little window here. So I had those last three bites in probably the last 20 minutes. Oh, nice fish. Man. It's got the white tips on the fins there. God, I want to I want to show them to you guys. He's so pretty. Doing this by yourself is not easy. I had a little help earlier today, but Jesse and Sam left. Okay. No, he's not wrapped up anymore. Okay, okay. It's okay. Back up. I hope you guys can see him. I'll try moving this a little closer. Okay. Come on, nobody. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. There he is. Here's his head. Maybe you guys can see him there. Okay, back up, back up. Back up. Yep. Oh, he's got the tube just crushed. Just crushed it. Come here. I don't want to get a treble hook in my hand. Okay, the treble hook's over there. Got him. <laughs> yes. Perfect. He's hooked good. Tube right there. Easy out. No bleeding. This one's going to go back in the water. There we go. Awesome. Awesome fish. Look at his fins, so pretty, such an awesome fish. Nothing better, nothing better than lake trout. Man, that's awesome. Look at that, look at those fins. Orange with the white tips, such cool colors, natural fish. Look at that face, burping up some water. So pretty. Oh, freaking love these things. So awesome, let's get him back. Here you go, buddy. Woo. Awesome, awesome day. That was a perfect cap. The ones we kept this morning a little bit smaller, that one was big enough for one to let him go. So cool, he was hooked really good. Great release. Here's the tube, wire's a little bent up. Wow, what an awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel below. It helps me out a ton. It's free, doesn't cost anything. There's lots of tips here. I've got all kinds of other fishing content for muskies, walleyes, smallmouth, and lake trout, of course. So thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.